Hey guys, I uh, Parn here doing a different video format. Uh, this video format is going to be a little bit more of a test uh, test video that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be revolving around all my custom builds that I've done up until now. So I'm going to be doing reviews of each of my custom builds that I've done so far. Uh, ones that I'm currently working in progress, others that are complete. And just showing off what I do and maybe do a little bit uh, tips and pointers of what's it called or what you can do when you do custom builds and whatnot. Or trying to make your own personal unit. Like what's called, because when you get into Gumpla, uh, you want to like make, you build the model you want. And then what's called, you want to make it your own. You want to make it into your own style. Like I do right here with my Stray Igneous. It started out as my favorite model kit, the Gundam Astrea Type F. And then from there, I modified it, painted it, switched parts, added new stuff, new equipment, and turned into my own personal unit that if I were to go into a, a battle, it's going to be the one, it's going to be my primary unit I wouldn't use to fight with. Uh, it went from Astrea uh, Type F to Astrea Igneous, its new name. And... That's basically how I'm going to be doing these reviews, basically based on what I did, what I used, methods, whatnot, to give uh, helpful tips and whatnot for people who are starting into the community and whatnot, and maybe try to help out as best I can. Uh, so first things first, uh, base unit that I use. The base unit is the high grade Astrea Type F, Type F, Type F2. And then from there, swapped out the arms and legs. Uh, what's it called? Originally the legs were modified versions as I did have the waist separated. But I did. I went back to the original Type F legs. I'm gonna swap between what's it called? Um, these uh, the joints later on, but I'm keeping them currently at the original Type F legs. Uh, legs right now are the dark matter, extra dark matter legs repainted into more red. As you can see over there, there's the original dark matter. As you can see over here, the original dark matter. You can see right here difference. You can see the difference in colors. What's it called? Uh, dark matter legs more are more black, but the knee joints still red and whatnot. And you can see the color scheme still kept the same. Just the only difference is I made mine a little bit more emerald, a little bit black, way more red because my base unit uh, palette is basically primary red. Uh, accents are always going to be black, emerald, gold, etc. Uh, what's it called? The arms belong to the transient gunner from Gun the Bill Fighters Try. Uh, they're modified arms, as if you know, the transient shoulders do not fit the original, uh, what's called type F. So I do modification, sanding, a little bit putty to make the arm joints work, work out, uh, to attach the shoulders of the dark matter, uh, what's called, but they fit very well and fine. The chest piece I've swapped out from the original, uh, Straya type F, uh, clavicles to the ones for the dark matter to make it more pointy and edgy. Uh, it's got mishmash clavicles. One of them's the old Type F one. The other one's the Axio ones. Actually, there the backpack belongs to the. It's still the old uh, Shure Type F backpack. Uh, the head you can see right there is basically the Type F two version of the Astrea. Was the only difference being the forehead being that of the Dark Matters V crest versus the original one. Uh, what's it called? Side skirt still the original Type F. Back skirt still the original Type F. Uh, equipment wise, it's got the two GN pistols that it had, uh, painted in gun metallic. What's it called? It has the Barbados, um, a katana from the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, fourth, fifth version of the Barbados. I'm trying to remember which version Barbados, uh, had a katana. I'm so many original, uh, it has a dark matter rifle colored in. Various colors. I am going to recolor it again just because I kind of want to do it more red. I originally had this unit and kind of more uh, uh, metallic crimson. I can see a little bit with the uh, the dark matter rifle still so in that color scheme. I kind of repainted it back to more basic red just because I kind of liked it a little bit better. Uh, but I'll, that's a little bit of work I'm going to do a little bit later. Uh, the prominent sword is a modified version of the prominent sword the dark matter had. Uh, way way much modification, sat it down, took off the hooks, made it kind of more like a holy sword you would see in video games and whatnot. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Power Rangers Locks Galaxy's Quasar Sabers. Now I'm thinking about it. Probably what I probably got the idea of subconsciously. I guess I guess Power Rangers was in my mind when I was building this a little bit. Still a fan of Power Rangers. Super Sentai. Um what's it called? And it has the two beam sabers and has still has two beam sabers in the back. 
And basically, that's pretty much it for this review um, on my custom build. This was one that I rebuilt over time as originally it was a little bit different. As you can probably see in my profile pic, uh, you can see right there, or my Twitter whatnot, you can see right there the original version of it. Uh, the original chest piece and uh, waist belonged to the um, transient. The legs were a little bit modified. They belonged to the um, uh, load ashtrays. The arms were the same. Backpack had the uh, funnel attachments and whatnot and everything else. A lot of it was different. But I swapped it out to this variation of it because I kind of missed this one. This one was the original one that I originally built slightly. Though it's been modified with upgrades to make my Shreya Igneous way more better in battle. There's still much more upgrades I can do later on. Uh, attaching equipment so I can hook up the prominent source so I can have its left hand a little bit more open. So I can attach different weaponry. Maybe attach the Proto Saber or something else onto it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is going to be a um, new video series I'm going to be doing. Um, I guess I'll call it custom reviews uh, for all my custom builds I'm doing or projects I'm currently working on at the moment. But thank you for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And uh, always um, take care. And hopefully you have a good day. And you have any custom builds you want to do, go do them. It's basically just try and do. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. That's fine. But overall, you learn from them. And pretty much it. Uh, this is Pirate Arden, signing out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.